Hello my beautiful people, welcome back to another nighttime pouring episode. Uh, tonight we are working with some really, really beautiful colors that I have been inspired by my good friend Karen Dershin from Waterfall Acrylics. She was using Quinacridone Nicolazzo Gold and Permanent Violet Dark together in one of her pores and they were just so beautiful and it's been in my head and I've been wanting to do this for a couple of weeks now. So tonight we're actually going to do it. <laughs> Uh, I have here a 20 by 20 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. I have painted my sides and edges and a little bit along the top also. And I've taped the back and put my push pins in. So that's a 20 by 20. For that size canvas, we need about 16 ounces of paint. So let me show you my colors first. The first one we are using is this beautiful one here. This is Quinacridone Violet from Golden. I'm just gonna use my little stir stick over here. Because believe it or not, I ran out of stir sticks. <laughs> My paint is mixed tonight with Mix Pour. You can get your own Mix Pour by emailing Krista, Krista8974 at gmail.com to get some of this luscious, creamy, beautiful stuff yourself. I also use Mix Pour when I do my Tipsy Piggy recipe using this little piggy pigments. But tonight we're not using pig piggies. Tonight we're using some golden colors. So that's the Quinacridone Violet. The next one I'm using is Permanent Violet Dark, also from Golden. That's this one. And I don't have stir sticks anymore. So. <laughs> but they're all about the same consistency. It's pretty thick, leaving a mound on a mound, and then the mound disappears pretty quickly. Uh, this lovely creature over here is Quinacridone Nicolazzo Gold, which I have been waiting for and waiting for and waiting for for feels like months, and it's finally arrived. It doesn't look like much in the cup, but I'm telling you, when you put these two together, it is just something magical happens. It's really, <laughs> it's an amazing thing. <laughs> okay, we have our usual suspects, our 24 karat gold from Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics, and our satin enamels, mixed with some Amsterdam Pure White. That's that one, okay? The other exciting, fun thing about tonight is we are using another cup from the Paint Pour store. This one is not the handle one. This one has got this funky <laughs> tail fin design with the pointy tip. And the reason I wanted to use this one tonight, the last video we did um, with the Meteorite, I used this split cup that has the rounded edge. And I was having a very hard time catching the drip neatly <laughs> because it was so wide. So I think that one made me look for a pointy one tonight. And I was like, ooh, I have this one too. So we're gonna try this one out. I did put water in this to measure how much it holds. It's about 20 ounces. We need 16 ounces for the canvas. So I'm perfectly okay with using a couple of extra ounces of paint. So now we're going to layer our cup. So the two on the sides are obviously the biggest. I usually like to put my white in the center because it's not the biggest, but it's also is probably the smallest one. So we're gonna go ahead and put our white in there. And kind of fill that up a little bit. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna put the Quinacridone Nickel Azul Gold in the second chamber over here. Up, I highly recommend that you have a bucket of water standing by that you can dunk it into until you are ready to wash it. And when you are washing anything 3D printed, don't use very hot water, use cool water. Okay, now we're going to put the permanent violet dark on this side. That's such a beautiful color. That's probably my favorite color. <laughs> okay, now we're going to put our gold in this chamber and I have kept the gold just slightly thicker than everything else because I do want it to show up by itself. I don't want it to just leave a sheen on the surface of the canvas. And this one's gonna be interesting to wash because it's so narrow up the top. But not least, we are going to use our Quinacridone Violet from Golden. Okay, and I have mixed up some more of that Quinacridone Violet to use as a flow extender. 
Okay, so we have our canvas ready. I'm gonna take some of my 24 karat gold and I'm gonna just pour it in there. I'm gonna thin it out first. <laughs> Glad I caught that. Just a little bit of water. I'm gonna take the stir stick and wipe it down so I can stir this up. These, this is actually a mixed stick. I like these a lot. I also like the ones from Fluid Art Co. Very, very handy. Okay, but these are really nice because they clean up really easy too. And you can get these from Krista Resmussen also. So when you email her, put mix pour in the subject line. Okay, that's thinner. That's good. I'm gonna pour some of this into the center. Okay, we're going to do a ring pour. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. This cup is actually pretty comfortable because it kind of feels like it's got some indentations where my fingers and my thumb are. So it fits in my hand pretty nice. Okay, cross your fingers, here we go. Mm, that's interesting. Okay. I'm going to switch directions now. stuff up here on the top left side over here. I'm going to switch directions one more time. There's still a lot of paint coming out, but I'm going to stop this. Much easier. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Yeah, you know, I'm going to just put a little bit more you of this it. one. Yeah, I did. I'm going to put a little bit more of the quinacridone violet because I actually want more of that in the center anyway. So we're going to make it work for us. That I can fix. <laughs> Just gonna take our skewer. And draw some lines through there. That's good. This is really pretty. All of this is gorgeous and I'm really happy with how this is looking. Okay, I'm going to search this first. with our flow extender. 
And this is that quinacridone violet. Just saw a lump of something over there too. That's the same color as the edges? Yeah. Okay, so this cup is actually Liquitex Gloss Medium and Floetrol. And the paint was just mixed with mixed pour. And the reason that I did that is because mixed pour can be very transparent. And so I have painted the sides and edges so that they are not transparent. And I don't want the flow extender to be transparent. So we have used the Liquitex Gloss Medium and Flow Travel. But yes, this will eventually dry that very reddish color. <laughs> as amazing as that is to believe. You see this color changing thing happening HOA when I touch it? Uh -huh. That's the flow draw. It's a good thing you know what you're doing. I think you'd be, actually I do remember back in the day when you were first starting out and wondering why it had changed color. <laughs> I remember being furious the first time I mixed with flow troll and it was mixed up this beautiful cadmium red dark and let's put the flow troll in and it turned pink. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> we don't know how much you love pink. But interestingly I do like this color even though this is kind of pink too. Okay, I'm just gonna go over our sides here. Just to make it nice and even and smooth. I've been watching a lot of my friends do some really, really beautiful wrecks. But sometimes when they pour this like amazing rain pour, I really, I don't want them to wreck it. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's so pretty, don't. So I'm going to resist the urge to wreck this. See, sometimes when you wreck something, I can hear the people screaming yeah, through, through the camera. Yeah, I can too. <laughs> This is very pretty and that center is beautiful. I love what's happening over here, how we have that quinacridone violet and the Nicolazzo gold and the permanent violet dark. But this side has a lot more gold. So if I'm gonna lose something, it's gonna be this side and I'm gonna keep this side as much as possible. So to that end, let's see where the weight of the paint is and kind of stretch this out a little bit. Get it all moving uniformly. What is happening over here? Okay. So there's a big bubble back there too. Get rid of it over here. Okay. So we're going to stretch this out a bit. You can see that flow extender moving pretty quickly. Go off the edge, come back towards me. I definitely see a lump in there. Sure what, but something's going on. Right. 
I'm going to take this back down towards the center. And take it off of that bottom corner. Such a striking combination of Anacrodo Nicolas of Gold with the Permanent Violet Dark. Like you wouldn't think that those two would work together well. But for some reason it's very, very pleasing to the eye, to my eye anyway. This actually has a lot more white in it than I had intended, but that's okay. So it looks pretty cool. Interesting. I always run out of paper I love all of this. This looks really cool. These lines are really cool. I love that corner. I like this corner too. Okay, so we're going to torch this. thing that's happening over in here. Can you get close over here, actually, where I'm pointing? Where you see a little bit of the permanent violet dark, and then there's quinacridone nicolazo gold, but there's a layer of the white on top of it, and it's kind of blended a little bit into this sort of peachy coat. It's really pretty. And we're starting to get some of that yellowy orange in through here in these lines also. I don't think I actually want to take that corner off. I think I'm going to leave it alone. Trust the process. <laughs> but this is pretty. This is, I love this red. These are really beautiful lines in here. That's all gold. Theoretically, if I could open this up, it would be very, very pretty. But then I would lose that edge and I would lose a lot of the quadacridone violet and I don't want to. So I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it. <laughs> 
Um, there is one thing that I do want to do though. I'm just going to take my mixed stick to do it. I'm just going to come in and fix the edge of this so it's not quite so much the shape that it was. <laughs> no man parts. I think I'm going to do that same thing over here. That looks pretty cool. I love these cells that are popping up in here. These are so pretty. Do you see that sort of peachy metallic color oh, yeah. in here? That's oh, yeah. so neat. So this is really cool. And this is gonna be pretty sparkly when it dries because there is a lot of gold in here. Remember we kept the gold thicker and it had its own chamber. It wasn't like half and half with the white. That's a pretty trippy cell. And I have a feeling this is gonna sell up some more. We could take a little bit more of this off and open that up, but then we would lose this, and I don't want to. Yeah, we're done. I'm going to leave it how it is. I like the center. It's kind of soft. Kind of reminds me of one of those, uh, right. the center of a peony. No, where it's like this little round ball. It's really cute. Yeah, okay. I'm good. <laughs> this was fun. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, you know, if there's colors that are stuck in your head, I encourage you go mix them up and play with them if you have them because sometimes you end up with something really striking and that you hadn't initially thought would be cool. Like I never in a million years would have put those two colors together, but they are so beautiful with each other. And uh, I think it's really neat. So have fun with your paint. Play with it. You come up with amazing stuff sometimes. So, thanks for hanging out with us tonight, you guys. I really appreciate all of you. And uh, I'll show you this one when it's dry. We'll be right back. Okay, so this is a couple of days later now, and it is totally dry. It turned out really, really cool. I love all of these beautiful little details in here. That shimmering gold, I love the depth of the center. I love the nickel azo gold up there. As you see, the permanent violet dark dry is kind of darker. So in here we actually have some areas that are providing a lot more contrast. I hope you guys can see this. And of course our 24 karat gold is blinging. <laughs> I really like that quinacridone violet. It's such a beautiful color. Sorry, Gale's are blowing. What else is new, right? <laughs> I love this part over here. Let me see if I can get a little closer to show you guys. Just what happened in here with the the permanent violet and the quinacridone violet where they sort of blended in with the gold. It's just this beautiful, deep, sultry, gorgeous purple. And of course, so blingy. It's kind of hard for me to see because there's so much sun, but I love what happened in there in that corner. Really, really pretty. Lots of gold in this. It is very sparkly, very shimmery. Kind of reminds me of this flower that's just opening up innocence <laughs> very very pretty stuff though in here cool cells that one really trippy cell was down here kind of cool neat stuff beautiful colors fun ring pour i like that cup a lot from the paintpourstore.com i encourage you guys to go check out their website and uh, this was a lot of fun this one was beautiful thanks for being here with us today you guys i really do appreciate all of you Thank you for watching and liking and subscribing. It means a lot to us. 
and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye. Did it? He's gone.